Tonight, Andy has some food for thought. Literally, food for thought. Americans have become a lot more health conscious in the last few years. We all want to eat the right things so we'll live forever. But they make it so hard to know what's right and what's wrong to eat. They're always warning us one day about something we shouldn't eat and then deciding a few weeks later that it's okay after all. The other day, this report warned us that alcohol is apt to produce heart disease in men. But then further down in the story, the report says that alcohol may lower the cholesterol level. The first warning I remember was the great cranberry scare of 1959. They told us cranberries were dangerous because of something they'd been sprayed with. Life magazine did a whole layout on it, and people avoided cranberries that Thanksgiving. Whatever it was about cranberries that was bad for us, that's gone now. According to a report a few weeks ago, mushrooms from China may be dangerous. The egg business was seriously damaged by reports that the yolk of an egg has more cholesterol than is good for any of us. Americans are eating about 100 fewer eggs a year than they used to. A recent New York Times article noted, however, that possible ill effects of low cholesterol were not yet understood. The cattle industry is in trouble because doctors convinced all of us that meat has a lot of saturated fat. That was good news for cows, but bad news for cowboys. Lately, there have been reports that the fat in meat can lower your cholesterol. I mean, who knows? Remember the cyclamate story? The companies making diet soft drinks were ordered not to sweeten their drinks anymore with cyclamates. It cost them a fortune to switch to something else, now, the Food and Drug Administration says it made a mistake. Cyclamates are okay after all. Back in March, we were warned not to eat grapes from Chile. Well, I wouldn't recognize a Chilean if I met one on the street, let alone a Chilean grape. They almost ruined Chile's economy with that report. The warning that still bothers me the most was about coffee. According to a 1981 report from medical researchers at Harvard, People who drink three cups of coffee a day are three times as likely to get cancer of the pancreas as people who don't drink coffee at all. Now, just recently, the report was that decaffeinated coffee may raise your cholesterol level. Because of all these stories, a lot of Americans are eating what they call health foods now. I'm waiting for a report that health foods are bad for you. I'm Orly Safer. We'll be back next week with another edition of 60 Minutes.